Hi, I'm Joanna and I will be teaching you guys how to achieve this makeup look. The first time I ever did anything with the word makeup in it was during my freshman year um, as a choir student and the lights would wash me out and I just do it because it's fun and I think it's very relaxing and fun. I'm going to take some lotion. I'm going to use the lotion to moisturize my face and help the foundation stick on better. This is a concealer stick and I'm drawing little triangles under my eyes to eliminate the dark circles I have. I'm also taking it to dot it all over my face to hide any imperfections that I may have. I know I look a little funny so I'm going to be taking this mini beauty blender and I'm going to be blending out the concealer into my skin in a repeating tapping motion. Now we're done with the concealer, I'm going to be taking my powder foundation and with a damp beauty blender I will be getting some product and blending that into my skin as well. Now that I have the base of the makeup finished, I'm going to be moving on to eyebrows. I'm going to be taking some of that rundown black powder with an angle brush and I'm going to be filling in all the sparsy areas on my eyebrows. Now that I no longer look like a chicken because of my brows on, I'm going to be taking some band-aids and I'm going to be using those band-aids as a reference for my eyeshadow. This is eye primer and it's like glue for your eyeshadow. I'm going to be taking some of that and putting it all over my eye lens. So I'm going to be taking it under my lash line. Okay, so we're back at the fun part, the eyeshadow part. I'm going to be taking some of that pink pearly color and I'm going to be taking that with a brush and putting it all over my eye lens. With a fluffy brush, I'm going to be taking that orange color. I'm going to be putting that all over my eyelid as well. I'm going to start from the outer corner in. This color is going to serve as a transition for the rest of our eyeshadow. So it's okay if it looks a little messy because we're going to be blending that out throughout. With a blending brush, I'm going to be blending out the harsh lines of the transition color in a very rapid, fast, circular motion. With my second palette, I'm going to be taking that lavender brown color and I'm going to be focusing that on the outer corner of my eye and then bringing it into my crease. With the same blending brush, I'm going to blend blending out that part of the eyeshadow into the transition color that we um, focused on at the beginning. On that same palette, I'm going to be taking this dark brown color and I'm going to be focusing that a lot on the outer corner of my eye, building what looks like a little triangle inward. All right, my sweets, we're going to be blending that into the rest of our eyeshadow until we can see that they're softening up and dancing together. Ten years later, we're going to be taking that purple color on the same palette and patting that onto the neglected part of our eyelid. On that first palette, I'm going to be taking that orange color again and I'm going to be running some of that with a small little fluffy brush under my eyes. I'm going to be taking my favorite mascara, which really helps lengthen my eyelashes and I feel like this makes up for the fact that I don't have eyeliner on. And the smokiness effect under the eye also adds on to that. You probably noticed that in the inner corner of my eyes, lighter color. That's because I took the first color that we put on our eyelids and I just ran it on there to highlight my eyes. I'm going to be taking some bronzer and running down on my cheekbones, on my jawline, and on the temples of my forehead. Now I'm going to be taking some highlight from this highlighting palette and I'm taking that first color and putting it on the tip of my nose and on the temples of my cheek. To finish up the look, some lipstick bring out my hair and we're finished. 